Hey everyone, how the heck are ya? Uh, just wanted to take you on a r quick ride along on a roadie gig. Uh, there'll be a screenshot of that gig showing up here pretty soon. Don't sleep on roadie, y'all. Um, I'm on my lunch, you know, it's lunchtime. And actually this roadie gig showed up earlier in the morning and no one's been taking it. So what I typically do is for roadie, I just, I, I go throughout my normal work day. And then when lunchtime rolls around, if there is a gig within five miles that pays 20 bucks, I take it. Uh, this one's from Tractor Supply. It's less than three miles down the road. I'm gonna pick it up. I'll drive five miles to the customer, uh, drop it off, and then I'll come back. And I'm thinking it's gonna be like 11 or 12 miles total. Not bad money for the miles, right? And uh, for the time, I'm guessing 35, to 40 minutes max it's good money for the hours it's good money for the miles let's go do this all right got the items picked up uh it's uh it's um what is it pet food 22 dollars to deliver pet food let's go you know you're trying to get out of there as fast as possible to get the stuff to the to the customer and uh, of course they got to tell you about uh, people who show up in vehicles way too small to get uh, items and uh, you know <laughs> you got to be friendly right uh, I will have to say the guy at the customer service desk was a, a little bit uh, I don't know I, I don't want to say rude he was just uh, he lacked enthusiasm. That's it. He lacked enthusiasm. All right. So that delivery is complete. Uh, I was in a trailer park and uh, they didn't give really clear directions on where her lot was, but I did eventually find it. It wasn't that big. Um, so we're probably running a little behind on time uh, than I expected that I would be, but I think we're still going to get this done in it's gonna be under an hour uh, and so yeah I mean you know lady had a, a boot on her foot couldn't drive she was having trouble walking you know she had one of those like broken foot her dogs need to eat she needs to eat so I was uh, you know I was glad to to do this it's helping someone out uh, she had a nice looking good size pit bull looked like um, beautiful beautiful caramel color coat oh man I wish I could have pet him, but she was keeping him in uh, for obvious reasons. Because you know she does, she wouldn't be able to chase after him if he uh, if he took off. But yeah, you know, really really beautiful dog. Anyway, we're gonna finish going home, and then when I get back, we're gonna look at total miles and total time driven for the cost. Didn't get a tip. I was hoping I get a cash tip, but I mean for you know twenty two dollars. It's, it's pretty decent. I don't know how, I really don't know completely how roadie works, who pays for what. You know, does Tractor Supply pay for this, part of this? Does she pay for part of it? Um, but like I said, I have gotten good cash tips in the past with roadie, especially delivering medication. So, happy to continue doing it. All right, so done with the trip. Let's take a look at the mileage and the time. We drove for about 41 minutes. I think, you know, traffic was a little heavy today. Uh, the chit chat with the folks uh, at Tractor Supply and having to find uh, the lot, that kind of slowed some things down. I think this could have been done in about 35 minutes, but you know, we'll go with the 40, 41 minutes, 13.4 uh, miles. So it was a little bit further than I expected. Um, probably half a mile of that is was me looping around the trailer park uh, looking for this lady's uh, place. So uh, you see the numbers right there. It's pretty good numbers when you think about it as far as a hourly rate. And like I said, it's an easy pickup. You walk in, you go back to customer service desk, you tell them you're there for roadie, 
which one they, they then you go to the front, pick it up, out to the car, boom, Bob's your uncle, and you're delivering this. Not bad. All right. So hourly rate is what? Um, what? It's about uh, $32 an hour. Not that bad. You know, $32 an hour to deliver stuff from tractor supply. Don't sleep on tractor supply, folks, especially if you're a casual uh, driver, if you're a casual delivery person. It's a really good way to, if you're, like I said, you're running out doing errands. I didn't have any errands to run today. I just wanted to make this video to kind of show you how, how things work out on roadie and how profitable roadie can be. But if you are out running errands, you know, flip open roadie. Look, and if there's a trip headed in your general direction, shoot, pick it up. You know, who doesn't want to make 10 or 15 bucks when they're going to the grocery store or going to Walmart or whatever? Pick it up. Make a little extra money, drive a few extra miles, and uh, you're you're good to go. That's it for this video. Thanks for watching, folks. If you like this kind of content, please remember to like the video and subscribe to the channel to see more stuff like this. My name is John from Ride Upstate, reminding you that just because you're in a small market doesn't mean you need to settle for small profits. Bye.